In the mid-1980s, there was another airline starting and making their home base at the Calgary International Airport. They named their charter airline Holiday Air. They started with one DC-8 and had plans on increasing this to seven DC-8s as business increased. Their passenger traffic was initially charters for tour and travel agencies in Alberta and flying tourists to and from other countries. Holiday's offices, dispatch, aircraft storage, and maintenance was to be located at the Executive Flight Center hangar at the Calgary International Airport. I was doing aerial photography and had an office in the hangar next door. I was asked to take a photo of Holiday's DC-8 on its first arrival. I selected the rooftop of the Executive Flight Center hangar for my best viewpoint, rather than ground level. The following month, Holiday's CEO and chief pilot requested I take an in-flight air-to-air photo of their DC-8 from a business jet. I told him I wouldn't do it. As having done it before, I could not get a sharp image through double pressure insulated glass, waiting for the proper weather conditions, the proper positioning of the two formating aircraft, and the complexity of scheduling a block of airspace with ATC. I asked the CEO what his plans were for the images. He said he wanted to use the photos for their brochures on board the aircraft to give to clients and for future advertising. I told him I had a better way of doing it and explained briefly what my plan was. On the day of the shoot, I briefed the pilots that I was locating myself here. On the roof of the administration office, that separated the two attached executive flight center hangars. And this direction is my view of the taxi route the DC-8 was going to take. Using this map as a guide, I instructed uh, them to taxi slowly throughout the route and no stops. I was located center photo. When you reach this area and start this left turn, I want you to taxi very slowly while I shoot a side view and a few left side three quarter shots. When you start the next left turn, I will shoot you straight on the nose, a few right side three quarter shots, and a side shot as you taxi by me. I had a portable radio to instruct them to repeat the route if I required more shots but I was satisfied with what I had. From startup to shutdown, this exercise took about 15 minutes. I then took the negatives to a photographer friend that did airbrushing. I asked if he would transfer, which is composite, these photos I just took of just the DC-8 at various angles and stagger them in formation onto a different background. I then gave the photographer's name, phone number, and address to the CEO of Holiday and told him to go to the photographer's office, give him the background photos you wanted for the DC-8s, and how you wanted the DC-8s located for his brochure. A week later, the CEO excitedly contacted me and told me to come to his office. When I arrived, he pushed the brochures at me and told me it's exactly what he wanted. I couldn't wait to tell the CEO that the cost to fly the DC-8 and charter the business jet would have cost hauled air into the tens of thousands of dollars. I did the shoot in 15 minutes and with 10 shots on one roll of medium format film, processing, printing, and my fee, I charged him $200. I expect with the airbrushing fee and my fee, Holiday's total bill was less than $500. I was determined to make him aware of the money he saved, and I got better quality images than if I had to do air-to-air. -air. 